Back in 2017, Cabinet agreed to fund Cornwall Alternative School for three years, with that money running out in March of 2020, a total cost per year of $760,000. But last week, that deal was cut off a year early, as Cornwall Alternative became a budget casualty. The school's admin says it's a last resort for students who wouldn't normally go to school in the public or Catholic system. It has about 40 students with more on the wait list in grades 7 through 10. The NDP opposition says the government should change its decision. So this will be um, a situation where you have 40 students with intense and complex needs um, being reintegrated back into the public and Catholic system without adequate supports. Um, I'm not sure how the minister thinks that this is an improvement on any one situation. Um, and really, we, we are hoping that he will see the light and reverse this decision. The Minister of Education, Gord Wyant, says the decision to shut down an alternative school in Saskatoon a couple of years ago tells the province that this plan will work. He says it wasn't about the money and that another factor was that grade 10s who were leaving Cornwall Alternative were struggling in adapting to grade 11 in the regular school system and not graduating. Our experience in Saskatoon has been just that, that there has been a seamless transition of these children uh, from uh, from an alternative school into the general uh, population of the school systems in Saskatoon. So our experience shows that it works and so we're confident that it'll work in this case. The board chair of Cornwall Alternative School says it needs about $850,000 in order to function each year. In last week's budget, the province upped funding for independent schools by $880,000. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.